what's up guys today we're going to validate or verify a custom domain in office 365 and this is also called a vanity domain so first thing first you need to buy a domain if you don't have one already you can just do a search online like buy a domain and you will get the most uh, popular registrar where you can actually purchase a domain once you have your domain, we are ready to verify it in Office 365. So let's just do this. So I'm going to go on the left panel and under setup, I'm going to click to expand and we have domains. So I'm going to click on domains and you can see that right now I only have one domain, which is the default one provided by Microsoft, which is the dot on Microsoft.com. And at the top of the page, you can see you can add a domain buy a domain if if you click on buy a domain you will be redirected to godaddy um, which is a very popular registrar you can also click on the drop down menu if you have multiple domains and you can just filter about what you want and you can also search for some domain in office 365 you can have up to 900 domains and you can also create some subdomains um, with some conditions. If you manage your uh, DNS yourself for the subdomains, you can do this. So let's go ahead and click on add domain. So on this page, I can add my domain, which I'm going to do right now, um, which is a domain I bought on GoDaddy uh, myself and you have a little more information in here saying that your user's email addresses will look like this or username at your uh, on domain.com or .co.uk or whatever you've you've put there and i'm going to click on next so on this page microsoft is giving you uh, a txt record value and that's the one you have to enter into your registrar to prove that you own the domain, that you bought the domain. So I'm with GoDaddy, so I'm gonna log into GoDaddy and I'm gonna enter this TXT value. And I'm gonna go back into this page and click on verify. So Office 365 can verify with GoDaddy that I own this domain. So I've logged into GoDaddy and I'm gonna click on my domain there that I want to verify. And I'm going to scroll down until I see manage DNS. So I'm going to click on manage DNS. And I'm going to click on add because I want to add a record. There you select what you want to add. So I want to add a TXT and I've got the host and the TXT value. So let's go back to here. So the TXT name is at or some providers uh, actually uh, don't support the at. So you do not put anything on it. So at and the value in here. So the host will be at and the TXT value will be this one. And then I'm going to click on save. Now I have the TXT uh, record and name, the value and the time to live. So I can close this now and go back to this page and GoDaddy are usually uh, very quick. So I'm gonna try to click on verify now. And it actually verified successfully because now it's asking me if I want to add more DNS records because you have some for um, exchange, obviously you have some for uh, Skype for business as well. Uh, so it's asking me if, if I want that um, Office 365 add the DNS into my registrar, but I'm not going to do that now. The domain is verified and I'm simply going to click on exit. 
So this is how you verify your domain in Office 365. So now when you create users, you'll have the choice if you want the on Microsoft.com or if you want your uh, custom domain. Hope this has been informative for you guys and I hope to see you in the next video. Deploy video coaching.